beer sales market over there in Korea. All right, Sarah, uh, to Kayla now, uh, no more borrowing against your paycheck. These are the payday lender loans, right? This is a little bit more of a sober story, should we say. If you want to borrow against your paycheck before it hits your account, you'll now have to do it at a non-traditional lender. In the last week, the four big banks that used to engage in this practice have pulled the plug on these products. They had called them advanced deposits. And here's how it worked. If you had an account at, say, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, Regions, or Fifth Third, and you used direct deposit, you could get an advance of up to half your paycheck, but it would cost you $2 in interest for every 20 bucks you borrowed. The bank said annualized that added up to a rate of 120%, which by any stretch looked cheaper than other payday lenders, which could reach about 300%. The problem, though, the banks would pay themselves back from your account as soon as the check hit, which usually was in a matter of days. Advocacy groups have said the real interest rate on those loans, because of that, because they're only outstanding for a couple days, was far higher. The Center for Responsible Lending said these loans were only outstanding for about 10 days, meaning the effective interest was 365%. Some consumers have said such loans got them through rough patches. Others have said it drove them into a vicious cycle of having to borrow over and over again. That, of course, piques the interest of the OCC and the FDIC. Last year, both of those agencies issued guidance against such predatory tactics. Banks threw in the towel. This was a high-revenue-generating product for them. To, you think about those interest rates. You don't get those anywhere else. But it's not really safe practice, sound advertising. There are a whole lot it of It was just too it. hot, it sounds like to me. I mean, too sensitive. Right. Too sensitive. Another sensitive area along these lines, Wells Fargo apparently banning its employees from lending their own money on peer-to-peer -peer lending networks. Tell me about this and why they're taking this, uh, this step. So we talk all the time about looking for yield, looking to find a return on your investment, and it appears that some of the employees at Wells Fargo were putting their own money into some of these peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. You think of the popular ones there, Lending Club, which Google owns a big stake in. You think of Prosper. There's even one called SoFi, which is short for social finance, which helps students refinance their student loans. Here's what it is. It's What's their objection to it? Is it that, that it competes with Wells Fargo? Or? That's the funny thing. Normally you would say, oh, we would not tell you to do this because we think that this is a risky investment. It's unsecured most of the times, and you can be investing in a loan that has a lower credit score borrower. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of other risks associated with it, but Wells Fargo, according to the Financial Times, said this would be a conflict of interest. You would be putting your money into something that directly competes with the organization that you work for, matching the individual investor to the individual borrower, cutting out the bank and the middleman. That's something they don't that want. feels like a defensible argument to me on some levels. I'm sure I'm going to hear about that on Twitter or wherever. But, but it feels to me like, I mean, we have those kinds of rules. We can't go and work for somebody else at the same time as we're working for CNBC, who would be in a competitive space. But at any rate, Kayla, thanks very much. Appreciate Thank it. You. Good to see you.